while attending a meeting here at City Hall, coming through that metal detector, as you probably noticed, I can't walk very well. I have a broken leg. I had nothing on me except a t-shirt and a pair of leggings. It's very obvious I have a broken leg. The deputy that was out there put his hands on me, put his hands between my legs, and I have a history of trauma. That metal detector needs to go because you don't know how many people may have the same history I have that are walking through that door. Nobody but my husband, no man should ever be putting their hands on me or any woman or any man. You're new. How you doing? Oh, up there, not too many. You see how the table's supposed to be over here, right? Because that the table's supposed to be over here. Oh, and I have no idea. Um, try again? You can work using that. Sure, you should choose that. Come on. Yeah, that one underneath, maybe? Oh, oh I have a metal brace on my leg. I love it. It was very traumatic. Not only that, it was painful. It, I just have no words of what happened, but it's time for that metal detector to go. I, I, I just don't know what else to say. I go to the courthouse. I'm a guardian ad litem. I have never been touched going through the metal detector. It's just unacceptable. And yes, that was a very traumatic thing for her. I had to deal with for, oh, probably the first 10, 15 years of our marriage, her getting over what happened to her as a child. And to have that son of a bitch touch her the way he did, and because of his badge and his gun, I couldn't do a damn thing about it, and neither could she. I want you to think about that. Think about your mother or your sister. Now. Moving on. You sing that on the chair all night? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't put your hands on my wife again like that. Um. You better be kidding. You don't put your hands on my wife like that. I've checked those shoes. She's got a knee brace on. You don't have to check her. No, you don't. Know. What's your name? Oh, Actually, let me see your ID. You're going to your ID? I want to see your part of the shoot ID. I guess I'll get it for you. How did you? Hey, what the hell? Making sure that what happened to an individual going through the uh, metal detectors, make sure that we have clear policies and procedures as if somebody is unclear whether or not they need to be searched. I know when it comes to I'll use the airport, for example. If a female needs search, they have a female officer there to search it. If it's a male, they have a male there to search it. Um, they do that for a reason, and it's a liability reason. And if there's a wand available, then that, that's generally used. So um, obviously, I'm not sure why it happened. But personally, I want to make sure this never, ever happens to many one male or female again. And let's make sure that we have some clear policies in place to make sure that that is that's not going to happen so i don't know if i need census on that or what we need to move forward with that but if somebody needs search that's female then a female needs to be there and 
we, we need to come up with a pretty clear-cut policy on that if we're going to continue to have those. We, we all have been notified of the incident prior to tonight. I have turned it over to Captain Marino with the Sheriff's Department for an investigation and appropriate actions with regard to that event, and we will discuss alternative means for the future. Okay. Um, Ms. Ms. Tammy, I, I do apologize for what happened to you trying to get to one of our meetings. Um, and it is extremely unfortunate, and, the, and the, the person that came up here and spoke, and I'm not going to mention any names or anything, that she knows that I addressed her issue, sent that immediately to Mr. Peters and requested that Captain Marino look into what happened because Vice Mayor, you're correct. You, it needs to be a wand or anything else like that. It should never have happened to that, that degree at all. It should never have happened at all. So once again, that comes down to a policy and we have to see what the policy for the Sheriff's Department is and if it's not adequate, then it needs to be changed for the city of Deltona.